Here we go. Pro E-Buggy, A main, 10 minute race. All eyes on this one, we're off and underway. David Ooh. Ronald Falk leading us out here on this one, up and over the team associated, triple. Back onto the back side he goes. Ronald Falk gonna be out front still, Ooh, I believe. Born horse. Oh, oh no! Born horse to the lead. Who's, no, no sorry, Ronald, Ronald Falk to the lead. Born horse to second. I don't know who's in third. I believe, wait and see when they come around here, as they make their way around for lap number one, it's gonna be Ronald Falk out front. Ty Tessman has dropped back here in this one. So there's Bornhorst in the number two spot. That is Mayfield up in the three spot. Mayfield running the nighttime body. That's why we were so confused. <laughs> Once again, up and over the big triple, they go down onto the back side of the track. There's Joe Bornhorst in the number two spot, trying to chase down David Ronafalk. Ryan Mayfield up to third, Ty Tessman in fourth, Robert Battier in fifth, Ongaro, Cavallari, Finn, Jellen, Tebow, Easton, Steez, Drake, Truy, and Zanchetton. It's a rough start for Tebow, Zanchetton and Adam Drake all starting within the top 10 and now they're sitting from 10 to 15. And as we come across the line, Bornhorst out front in front of David Ronafalk. Mayfield third, Tessman fourth, Angaro fifth, Cavallari sixth, Batal seventh, Easton eighth, Steez ninth, and Drake 10th. Oh, oh Bornhorst getting caught on a pipe. Ronafalk gonna catch up a little bit. Well, here they go up and over the triple. Bornhorst taking that outside line, railing the berm, up and over the double he goes now. Ronald Falk, oh, he comes up short. Ronald Falk Ooh. to the inside. Good pass by Ronald Falk. But Bornhorst trying to return, has to check up. Oh, Bornhorst clipping the pipe a bit there. Oh, Bornhorst traction rolls at the end of the front straight. Tessman going by for second. Mayfield the third, it looks like. That might be Mayfield in second. I believe that is going to be, that is Ryan that Mayfield. That is Ryan Mayfield. Into second now. So Tessman, I think, will move up to third, though. Bornhorst dropping back to fourth. Ronald Falk. Your leader right now, and if I'm not mistaken, Cavalry fifth. Pico America instant replay of Bornhorse hitting the outside pipe on the straightaway, getting it collected, and then turning a little too sharp and flying off at the end of the straightaway. Some tough luck there for Joe Bornhorse. Well, David Ronfalk, your Nitro Buggy winner from last year. They're making their way back around right now, and there we're looking at Joe Bornhorse as he is trying to close that gap back up. Looks like Bornhorst has now moved up ahead of Ryan Mayfield. He has. He is now on the back door of Ty Tessman. So this is the battle for second and third. Ty Tessman, the all-white body. Joe Bornhorst, the red and yellow. Down the front stretch they go. That is the battle. Second and third. 7.25 left to go. Bornhorst going to try and set him up down the back straight. Here they come up and over the big double now. Back around through the roller section. You can see the difference oh. in lines. Oh, Tessman making a mistake. I was going to say you can see the difference in lines when Tessman goes to the inside and Bornhorst to the outside. Tessman coming up short on the triple is going to move Joe up to that second place spot. While they're doing this, though, Ronafok getting away. More trouble for Ty Tessman now. That is going to move Ryan Cavallari in the S-Works up into the number three spot. Ty Tessman in the four. Ryan Mayfield in the five now. Finn, Ongaro, Tebow, Battier, and Steez, your top ten. Last time by the line, Joe Bornhorst with a 29-4. David Ronafalk a 31-4. They're 2.1 seconds apart as they come back around this time through the double-double section. Ronafalk crossed the line with a 28-8 new fast lap of the race. 30.3 for Bornhorst. So losing about a second and a half in just one lap. Well, a lot can change here in this one. 6.15 left to go. Ronafalk, Bornhorst, Cavalier going to be 2.9 seconds back. Good run. Oh, oh Bornhorst flying there. off the track but getting back on. Little mistake there for him. Ryan Cavalier looking good with the new S-Works car. Sitting in third, Ty Tessman working his way back up into fourth. There's Mayfield. Oh, Ooh. Mayfield gets into Tessman. They get all sorts of tangled. As they come back around, Mayfield looking for the inside line on Tessman. They bump again. Dakota Finn right behind them. So four-way battle for third place right now. Coming down the front straightaway. That's going to be Ryan Cavalier leading this pack. The red and yellow S-Works buggy. Oh, oh, wow. It goes flying off the back. So that's going to move, is that Mayfield up May to third? Mayfield up in the number three spot. Ty Tessman to be in the four. Dakota Finn in the five now. Cavallari sixth. Looks like Tebow coming up from a rough start. He's in seventh right now, trying to find a way around Dakota Finn, and he does. I believe that might have no, actually sorry, been that Cavallari. that was Cavallari. Back down the front stretch, they go Ryan Mayfield. Up into third now, Ty Tessman in fourth. Dakota Finn, Jared Tebow, Ryan Cavallari, Angaro, Badier, Jelen, your top 10. 
As they work their way back around right now, David Ronalfalk with oh, a four second. Is that Born Horse flying off the No, who was that? Oh, lap car. Okay, that was Zan Shetton. Okay. I was confused. Oh, it looks like uh, Tessman may have tangled with uh, Zan Shetton, who was a lap car. Oh. Yeah, Davide Angaro up into the number four spot now. So Angaro sneaking his way closer and closer to the front. That is your defending Ifmar, eight skill Nitro Buggy World Champion. Here comes Angaro up and over the triple. Oh, he goes, wow. comes Shorts up a little short. Triple. Fast lap right now on the track, a 28-8 by David Ronafalk. Here comes Ty Tessman down the front stretch, sitting in fourth. 4.15 left to go in this one. 28-8 from Mayfield that time by. So it's Ronafalk, Bornhorse, Mayfield, Ronafalk all by himself as we see him here on the track, coming onto the front straightaway, making it look pretty easy. Well, it's where they work their way back around right now. Down the back stretch. Bornhorse around with a 28.9, his fast lap. Mayfield around on a 32 with a little bit of a bobble. Battier with his fastest lap of a 29.1 in the fifth place spot. Yeah, Robert Battier trying to close up on Ty Tessman now. 3.30 left to go here in this one. Ronald Falk down the front stretch. Here's Ty Tessman. Tessman working his way around. There is Robert Battier right there behind him and Davide Ongaro right there behind him. So battle for fourth, Tessman, Battier, and Ongaro. And oh, Robert Battier getting sideways there, tumbling hard through the double triple section. I really thought he was going to collect Ongaro, but Ongaro uh, snuck to the left, got by. Oh, here comes Tessman through the roller section. Three minutes left to go here in this one. Pico America instant replay. Battier looks like he catches a rut. Uh, oh, he catches the fluff, and it threw his car sideways. Angaro sneaking by narrowly. Ops to go double single. Well, 2.40 left to go here in this one. Ronald Falk, Bornhorse, Mayfield, Tessman, Angaro, Cavalieri, Truy, Finn, Tebow, and Jelen. Your top ten here in this one. Ooh, Angaro flying off the triple. So Tessman fourth going to get a little bit of breathing room. First place is still Ronna Fox, second Born Horse, third Mayfield. Mayfield coming by with a 28.6, his fastest lap of the race, and the fastest lap of the race as a whole. Well, two minutes left to go here in this one. Ronna Fox out to a 7.8 second lead on Joe Born Horse. Here we're looking at Joe, and Joe has got company coming up behind him as Ryan Mayfield on a move. Joe Born Horse last time by the line with a 32.5. Ryan Mayfield a 28.6. Here they come back around this time. 29-7 for Bornhorse, 28-7 for Mayfield. Mayfield one full second faster that last time by. Here they come down the back stretch over the rollers into the center now. Up and over the big double through the rollers. Look at Ryan Mayfield. Mayfield grabbing a handful of throttle, taking a smooth line there. Trying to sweep around the outside. Joe Bornhorse, oh boy. Mayfield cuts to the inside, clips a pipe and goes end over end. Joe Bornhorst now taking that number two spot back from him. Bornhorst got a little bit of a gap on Mayfield as he works his way around. Mayfield still in third. Ty Tessman in fourth. Davide Ongaro in fifth. Minute 10 left to go here in this one. As we look at Joe Bornhorst sitting in second up and over the triple he goes. Here comes, and that is Mayfield already making the comeback. We'll see what the lap time is going to be this time around. This is incredible. Mayfield. On a mission, 29-9 for Bornhorse, 28-5 for Ryan Mayfield. New fast lap of the race right now. He was 1.4 seconds faster last time around than Joe Bornhorst. 40 seconds left to go. Ryan Mayfield wants that number two spot. Meanwhile, David Ronald trying to check out here in this one. Here they come back around. Bornhorse knows he's there now. On to the left side, coming back around to the line. Bornhorst crossed the line that time with a 29-3, 28-8 for Ryan Mayfield. Up and over the triples once again. 20 seconds left to go. It is going to be close. Whether they're going to get another lap or not, it is going to be really close. This may be their last lap. Here comes Ryan Mayfield. Oh, Mayfield! 
tumbling through the fluff. And another wreck for Mayfield. Mayfield tumbles once again here in this one. That is going to allow Ty Tessman to close up on him. Time has expired. Ladies and gentlemen, David Ronnefonk, your winner, the 2019 DNC 8 Scale Pro Electric Buggy A Main. Joe Bornhorst comes around for a second, and Ryan Mayfield rounding out your top three. Ty Tessman will finish fourth, Ryan Cavallari fifth, Davide Ongaro sixth, Dakota Finn seventh, Mike Truy eighth. Robert Batty in the nine spot, and Jared Tebow will round out your top 10 here in this one. Wow, what a race there as David Ronafonk takes the win, finishes up only 1.8 seconds ahead of Joe Bornhorst. Ryan Mayfield trying to make a last lap charge, but not able to make it happen. Ty Tessman finishing up in the four spot, and Ryan Cavallari rounding out your top five. Well, let's send it down to Tyler with an AKA race report. All right, Tyler Hooks here with the AKA race report. We've got Ryan Mayfield, third place finisher in Pro Electric Buggy. How was the run overall? Uh, it wasn't very good. You know, the, for some reason, the car felt really stiff. Uh, like the, the, it's just the temperature dropped so dramatically and the track felt really hard for some reason. Like just earlier today in our warmups, it felt a little more forgiving. And that time, man, I could not just let, like lighten up and get comfortable. So I was happy to stay on the podium. I, I was like charging hard, man. I could drive that car hard. And then this e-buggy kind of touch, you know, touch a rut and uh, there's no give, no clutch. So sent me for a loop a few times trying to catch Joe there, but good job to Joe. Uh, he drove more consistent at the end to get second. David obviously put in a hell of a run to stay up front the whole time. Um, yeah, I had some problems in the beginning, just traffic, couple mistakes on my own, and I just, I had to push really hard and that's caused even more mistakes. So luckily I stayed on the box. That's what you're here to do. And uh, thanks to all my sponsors. Car was awesome. Tires were the right tires. Crazy horsepower. So thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. All right, now we've got Joe Bornhorst, second place. Oh, uh, here he comes. All right, Joe. I know it's always a good day for you when you can finally beat Ryan Mayfield, so how did that feel? It was pretty cool. I, I knew, uh, you know, he was kind of sending it there at the end, uh, but I, I know racing with him so much now that if he hits you, he'll wait and he'll be fair about it. So I could see that we had a, a pretty good gap over fourth, so it was a pretty comfortable spot. I was trying to hit my lines. Um, and yeah, the track's freaking brutal, man. I mean... With the temperature change and the lights and the wind, um, is there anything more you could have done setup wise, or did you just have to kind of go with it? Um, I, I think I heard Mayfield say his car kind of felt stiff. I kind of felt the same because the temperature dropped pretty quick, pretty fast, or pretty quick, uh, pretty a lot. Um, I don't know, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know, I'm getting tired of getting second at this race, so it's like my fourth one. Well, congratulations anyway. Uh, we'll see you in Pro Truck a little later. All right, thanks. All right, and then uh, David Ronafok, the winner of DNC in Pro Electric Buggy. How was your run, Ronafok? Pretty, uh, pretty boring out there in front. No, I, that's what exactly what I want, wanted uh, it to be like. Uh, you know, uh, the the field was stacked, so I knew my car was great. But uh, you never know on this kind of track. Like you, you can be uh, ha having some unlucky moments out there where the the bumps is gonna get your uh, get your car uh, sideways out there, and then and luckily they crashed pretty early on, so I got the gap, and I could pretty much control the race all. all way through so yeah i was happy to get that kind of a race because it's hard to fight out there yeah both of them were saying that their cars felt stiff and i i watched your car quite a bit and it didn't look that stiff i mean uh it looked like your car was absorbing a lot of the track so i know obviously it's not easy out there but does that make it easier uh for sure i mean my car was really good i was kind of just cruising out there i didn't have to do anything crazy when i had that four or five second gap um but i clearly had a lot more pace in the car i felt like but i was just you know, making sure I didn't crash. Uh, I almost messed up on the last lap there. I, I rolled it. I don't know. Sometimes uh, it always feels like it's it's the last what lap moment for me. It happened the same like last year at the Nitro Challenge in the Nitro class, last corner that was. And I was about to throw it away right there. Uh, Marshall threw me upside down, so I kind of had to rev it to, to get the back on the wheels. But uh, luckily I had that big gap and uh, I could uh, I could pass over the finish line uh, first. Well, congratulations and good luck at Pro Truck. Thank you. Well, a fantastic race right there for A-Scale Pro E-Buggy A Main. A great drive there for David Ronald Joe Bornhorst, Ryan Mayfield, and the rest of the field.
Well, stay with us right here on LiveRC.com as we get set for race number 25. Coming up next, our first Nitro race, Nitro A main of the evening, here for the 2019 DNC in Paris, California. Your broadcast brought to you by AmainHobbies.com, ProLine Racing AE, live time scoring, racing time watches. Our pit reports, of course, by AKA, our instant replays by Pico America. Stay tuned right here on LiveRC.com.